this feast day is extremely important. This feast day is technically Joseph, husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary. But because he is husband, Joseph is as well provider and protector. He provided for and protected the Blessed Virgin Mary and her child, Jesus, who is the Christ. He was with them throughout. In the Gospels, Joseph only has a portion the very beginning of Matthew's Gospel, the infancy narratives. And in those two chapters, Joseph has four dreams. He hears the voice of God speak to him. We don't hear Joseph speak at all. But what we see and understand is that Joseph acted, always fulfilling the word of God, always providing, always protecting. Esta solemnidad de la iglesia se llama San José, esposo de la Virgen María. Y por ser esposo, José es proveedor y protector de la Virgen María y también de su niño, que es Jesús el Cristo. En los evangelios no hay mucho, hay muy poco de José. La mayoría está en San Mateo en los dos primeros capítulos y durante esos dos capítulos José tiene cuatro sueños escuchando la voz del Señor de Dios y poniendo en práctica lo que escuchó él en sus sueños. No oímos nada de José, casi nada. Pero lo que vemos y podemos ver es José cumpliendo la palabra de Dios. Haciendo lo necesario para ser proveedor y protector. And very early, very early in the life of Jesus, Joseph is told that he's got to get up, he's got to take this child and his mother, the Blessed Mother, and he's got to go into Egypt. He's got to flee for the safety of the child. does just that. Muy temprano en el, en el Evangelio, muy pronto después del nacimiento de Jesús, José tiene el sueño que tiene que huir. Ir a Egipcio para la seguridad del niño. Y este es de lo que quiero platicar. The entire world is at a very sacred juncture. We've reached, I don't know what this noise is, but it's going to get loud.
en el año 2015, las Naciones Unidas dijeron que en aquel mismo año, 65.3 millones de gente dispuestos en todo el mundo. That's an average of one person in every 113 people alive at the time. Why were they displaced? Because they were looking for safety. Because they couldn't stay where they were for fear of their lives. In the year 2016, just last year, Pope Francis visited Greece. And while he was there, he went to the island of Lesbos in the Mediterranean Sea. Instead of giving speeches, instead of meeting with all the most important people in the world, he ministered in all of the camps he prayed with, he visited, and he consoled the immigrant population in Greece on the island of Lesbos. Refugees from the Middle East and from Northern Africa. People who had risked their lives to get their children to safety. When he left Greece, the Holy Father took with him three families to the Vatican, walking with them, as it were, into a new home, into a new land, into a new culture, into safety. He gave no speeches. He simply acted on the word of God. Después de visitar en Grecia, en la isla de Lesbos, el Santo Padre llevó con él tres familias al Vaticano. Tres familias refugiadas que necesitaron comida, hogar y un lugar de seguridad. Y en el mes después llegaron nueve más familias. El Santo Padre no predicó nada, no dijo mucho, pero actuó, actuó muy públicamente la palabra de Dios. Los sueños de José y dio a esas familias la bienvenida a sus nuevos hogares a la seguridad. In the month of May of that same year, the Holy Father was visiting with young Italian students, children. In his arms was the life jacket of a little girl that they could not save. She drowned in the Mediterranean trying to get to safety. All that was left was her life jacket. It had been presented to the Holy Father by the man who did everything in his power to save her, but he couldn't get there in time. 
He cried and cried. And he presented to the Holy Father that little girl's life jacket. En el mes de mayo de 2016, el Santo Padre habló a un grupo de alumnos jóvenes de Italia, de Roma. En sus manos, uh, uh, salva vida de una niña que no podía escapar las olas del Mediterráneo. Ella murió allí en el mar. Y todo lo que podían salvar, la salvavida de ella. Fue presentado al Santo Padre por el hombre que no podía hacer nada para salvar la niña. Él lloró muchísimo que no podía hacer lo necesario para salvar a aquella niña. The Holy Father told that story to those Italian school children. And he asked them to pray for that little girl and to that little girl because surely she went straight to heaven when she died. The Holy Father asked that little saint to pray for immigrants and refugees. He asked those children to do the very same thing. They responded a bit later by writing Pope Francis a letter. Very short. We children promise that we will welcome anyone who arrives in our country. We shall never consider anyone who has a different skin color or who speaks a different language or who professes a different religion from ours a dangerous enemy. Children. Nosotros niños prometen que vamos a dar la bienvenida a cualquier persona que llega a nuestro país. Nunca vamos a considerarlos con diferente color de piel, que habla diferente idioma o que profesen diferente religión de nosotros, un enemigo. We celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph, husband of Mary, provider and protector of the church. and the guide and the patron saint of immigrants and refugees. Two questions for you. Having looked at him in scripture, Saint Joseph, having watched our Holy Father imitate Saint Joseph, Do you suppose that we could write the letter that those students did? And after writing it, could we sign our name to it and mean it? Después de estudiar San José en la Escritura, especialmente en el, el Evangelio de San Mateo, después de mirar y ver el Santo Padre, 
haciendo igual a San José, ¿podemos nosotros escribir una carta como los alumnos de Italia? ¿Y podemos nosotros llevar nuestro nombre? Que vamos a vivir el Evangelio de Cristo Jesús Vamos a abrazar a uno y a otro como nuestros hermanos y hermanas. No importa su color, su idioma, su religión, de dónde vienen. Podemos ser imágenes de Cristo Jesús nosotros.